Alrighty, finally, my DC Multiverse Superman, or DC Classic Superman, has finally arrived. So with the help of my wife, we're going to open him up. I'm going to look at him, talk to him a little bit, and then we'll talk about why he's in the collection and talk about Superman, where I will ne never get tired of talking about Superman. So let's get him opened up. So I don't usually do these, so bear with me as I find my own lingo for them. Now, first and foremost, this this is a very cool image. Reminds me of Silver Age, Golden Age uh, type art. Um, yes, I've seen the videos. I don't see how this resembles this. And what I find cool and interesting at the same time, it's another DC Multiverse Superman figure over here. It's just saying DC Classic. So whether they're referring to it as Classic Superman or they're just referring to the classic age of DC um, beats me. So that's what I have to say about the box. But either way, really cool. Feels cool. McFarlane Toys. Very awesome. All right, taking him out of the box now. I saw... Another one of you awesome people talk about how if Superman has become progressively worse when it comes to his figure. Now, I, I've seen most of the Superman, at least from the McFarlane line, and I haven't had a lot of favorites. I have the Action Comics 1000. He is definitely probably my favorite, but I will say that this Superman, I really like him at first glance. Um, he really reminds me of me. Just kidding. Um, I will agree that maybe we don't have the perfect Superman figure because we don't have that yellow S in the background, but maybe someday. But I really like the figure. I really think this really embodies at least what I see in Superman or maybe even a younger Superman. People may say this looks more like the Adventures of Superboy, which may be fine, but he looks like Superman to me. Alrighty, so he's now out of the box. Look at him smiling. So happy. Hope. Sunrise, sunsets. Yeah. That's Superman. I really like this light blue color. I also think the light blue is kind of making uh, its way back. I don't necessarily think he has to have light blue or dark blue. I myself prefer royal blue. And not necessarily like a navy or dark blue on Superman. I love the S. The fists, yeah, I can see the whole thing that people talk about when it comes to proportions. He does come with these extra hands. This cool trading card that I should probably start keeping when it comes to my McFarland. McFarlane action figures. That's a good little summary there. You can read that. I like this bass part there. And an inspiration to countless other heroes. Superman is an unstoppable force for good. Yeah. Details are great. Now, is he the best Superman figure? I don't know. It does have some competition. And I would say that I think it's in the eye of the beholder, but I would also say that it also depends on the consensus of how we feel about Superman. Now, my favorite figure is a Superman plush uh, toy that I've had since I was five, so I have a little bit of bias. I am an out-of-the-box collector, mostly, so he will be out of the box. So I wouldn't say that he is the best Superman figure. I do would like to see one with that yellow cape. I am looking forward to the gold label, Crisis on Infinite Earth Superman. But I'm just glad that he's finally part of my collection. 
Superman is, of course, my favorite, so I get a little nostalgic and emotional talking about my favorite character. So that's the figure, guys. Let's uh, let's move over and talk a little Superman, shall we? So there he is. There he is. Finally, my camera is being wonky and he's sh showing up a little faded, but I've already done the unboxing. Uh, I won't take more of your time talking about Superman, but I don't apologize for talking about Superman because Superman is my favorite. I am highly anticipating Superman Legacy. So the only thing I want to add is why this figure is important to my collection. So besides being a, a big Superman guy, um, I want to look at the philosophical thinking behind the box, calling it a DC classic. So in my mind, and I know this isn't marketing, this isn't PR, this isn't what probably what they were thinking, but I'm thinking a DC classic, the Man of Steel Superman. So it's supposed to embody the likeness of the Man of Steel. Like one of the greatest things that I really appreciate about this figure is that he's happy. Superman is full of hope. Yes, life is is a roller coaster. It's it's full of ups and downs, highs and lows, things that help us become who we're meant to be. And he is he if you really understand the character of Superman, he doesn't escape from that. He's experienced loss. He values life. And that's part of the reason why it's important to have in my collection. And another reason is just, I feel like it's one of the closest adaptations to a uh, Superman in action figure form. Now, someday I'll have a statue, you know, something to add to, to that part of the collection. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the color. So this right here is one of my favorite pops. You've probably seen them in other videos that I have. But this is a blue that I really like, you know, this royal-ish blue. And then over here, the Jim Lee pop that I have, this is my favorite Superman pop. As you can see, it also has that light blue-esque idea of Superman. So I think depending on the suit, depending on the story that you're going for, the color works. Now, in the video, you saw the Superman Action Comics 1000. Um, great figure as well. It's a very important figure to me. Um, I, it was a gift from my mama. And so there, there's just a lot of value in, for me when it comes to these pops, because uh, these figures, I should say, and of course, these pops too. But I, and sorry, again, there I am stuttering. But it also reminds me of this, that he has that kind of light blue color. I know that the reflection of the camera doesn't show it, but in the world's finest annual, he has this really cool light colored suit. Now, wh whatever blue you like, it's up to you. For me, I don't mind the blue. It's great. Superman blue, light blue. There's this really cool snapback from Fanatics that looks awesome and it's, you know, resembling of this blue. So if you're debating whether or not to have him in your collection, uh, I highly recommend them. So great things coming from Brohood Productions for the rest of the week and uh, catch you next time.